Hey there, welcome back to the Big Ski family. We're super excited to talk to you this week. As you know, so much is going on in the world right now. The entire world is focused on this whole COVID-19 um, with you know quarantine and lockdown and so many things going on. And that has implications for us, no matter who you are, no matter what your line of work, what your business, the business you're in, uh, no matter your family structure. I mean, it really has implications for a lot of us. And we just want to acknowledge the fact that, you know, in spite of the challenge, because it's real, mm -hmm. there's no doubt. And some of us is impacting in much more uh, dramatic ways than others. Some people, you know, have lost their life. Some people have been sick. Some people are healthcare workers and are concerned with all the the impact that that might have on them and their family. There's people that have lost their jobs. Millions have filed for unemployment. This has economic implications for so many people. It has mm -hmm. social implications because so many of you are just kind of shut down in your space, right? I mean, and that's unusual. We have a unique situation because we're locked down, but we're with... We homeschool and we've got a lot of kids, so there's a lot of community here. So yeah. that's in one some, of the blessings and in of some having ways, a big family. In yeah. some ways, it hasn't changed that much. Just, it just, and I'm traveling a lot less and working here from home, but, yeah. but it's, yeah, it's been interesting. Um, and we've had to really, a couple things that we just want to share with you. The, the challenge of guarding your heart and your mind is, I mean, your mind in particular right now. The news is a lot of negativity. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like so many cases and so many deaths and so many job layoffs and so many, you know, government this and government that. It can really be demoralizing. And even mm -hmm. though it's true, it doesn't mean that's what we're supposed to be feeding on. Philippians okay. 4, 8 says we're supposed to think about other Whatsoever things. things are good, right, lovely, true. Think on these things. Yeah. Yeah. things that are of good report. So we're really working hard to protect our thinking and our mind. Mm -hmm. And we've actually shifted some things in our home to being uh, a better steward of this windfall of time. We've been doing more creative things. Mm -hmm. And and that's kind of what kind of yeah. spurred on this contest this week. But we've been doing things like what? So we've been uh, doing a lot more art. A lot more art. The kids have been... Um, Chad challenged the kids to come up with a song for our candle company, which is amazing. That's what this video is going to be about. Um, we're working on their skills with like spike ball and volleyball. Um, we're taking more hikes out in nature. Um, we're also seeing them, yeah, practice different skills, practice their instruments more. We've been singing more as a yeah. family. We're Reading. Do we're doing more consistent Bible times. More games. Yeah. More conversations, yeah. lots of conversations. So in some ways, this has been a real blessing for us. It's been a huge this, blessing. There's no competition to take our kids anywhere. We're just all home together. And it's been wonderful in that way. For family, this is actually a gift. And I think if we can see it that way, that this is actually a really special time to dig deeper in relationship. And I mean, hopefully with our marriages, and especially with our, our relationships with our children. It's just been really, really rich. Yeah, I was listening to Max Lucado's sermon the other day, and he said, we need to trust and we need to adjust. And I thought that was really good. We're trusting and we're adjusting during this time. That's it, because it is it is a new season. Yeah. So We're just changing the energy from one thing to another, but still being productive, still being focused, and um, still filling our minds with good things and protecting our minds from the bad things. So good. Yeah. So good. So what we're going to share right now is we literally challenge the kids and the oldest to the youngest that are in home. Uh, we had Baylor, Caroline, Kimberly, Chloe, Barrington, and Kenzie. So six of our children kind of there. Um, write, I said, write a ditty or an original song that has to do with candles because we have, um, we have realized over the last few weeks that our candle sales are going up quite dramatically online as people are spending more time at home. And they're, it's really, I was telling the kids, I said, if you're alone or you're with one other person, a candle has this way of kind of bringing in this, this warmth. It's like a little campfire in a, in your home. You know, you sit around the warm. It's kind it's, of alive. It's moving. It's not stagnant. It's warm and so cozy. It's cozy. And so we're, we're, uh, just kind of recognizing that and saying, hey, for people that are at home and that want a little more cozy or want a little more uh, time together around the campfire, so to speak, or to bring warmth and atmosphere, 
uh, boost. This is a really awesome way to do it. And so we're doing a little cozy and play sale that's on our website, farmhousecandleshop.com. But the kids did a song. Yeah, we gave them like 20 minutes. I was totally amazed. They came out with the most amazing little songs. And so we want you to listen to them and we want you to respond and tell us which one you think would be the winner. Cozy and place, create a nice space, brighten up your world with the farmhouse candle. When you're at home and you're all alone, light up your world with your farmhouse candle.
Are you lonely, sad, or dumb? Are you tired of staying at your house alone? Do you need a little spark? Or a little something to warm your heart? Farmhouse candles will melt your fears away. And here's the deal, we're very biased. We're their parents, you know, when your kids do something, you're like, yeah, go. But tell us what you think. Some catchy little tunes, some yeah. fun words. Yeah. Because you did be offer a cash prize I did. for the winner. I did. I so, said, hey, you know. There's a little mo motivation. Yeah. There. So d feel free to vote down be below and share what you, what you like about them or don't or whatever. But anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of uh, our lives. And just we're praying for you wherever you are, that God would be blessing this time and that it would be a productive, fruitful, um, a time that we look back on when it's over and look at all the good that came from it. So yeah. blessings to you. Thanks for joining us this week. We love you and be well. Bye-bye. Yeah.